Hi everyone, Keith here. Hey, uh, wanted to go over some stuff with you here real quick. Um, in regards to fraud. And basically what we got here is if some of you remember here a while back, I posted some correspondence we got in regards to some incomplete instruments. And basically what it is, um, these incomplete instruments, if you look, you see they all have windows. That's a window with information inside. And what I want to explain to you first, let's look at this one. This is the first correspondence we got. And then you'll see a note there, the second correspondence, the number was Department 922-404-975-871-7100. So this is the first correspondence. And then that second correspondence, that's the one that you see in my post here a while back, with return to sender, no consent, no contract. If this is in regards to a debt collection, debt collection or debts must be validated through proper... Uh, uh, IRS audit, uh, wet pen signature, um, proving uh, consent on a contract, and of course the uh, um, debt collection certification uh, uh, verification. And so what we've got here today, this, this here is our third correspondence, and you'll see that's got a, a yet a different number. And then this here is our fourth correspondence we got today. And so what I did... Is I copied that and I'm going to break this down for you. If you remember, this is an envelope and all the information on it is in the window or this here or this barcode or this up here in the right corner. First thing I want to note is on that envelope you'll see there's surprise, surprise, surprise. There's no title of the ship. This envelope is the ship. Everything in that window is all capital letters. Every last bit of it. It's all capital letters. There's no title. And the information on the cargo, which is what was inside that window, notice it says all caps. That's a foreign language. The window is not on, but in. The information is in the window not on the envelope. That's an incomplete instrument. Incomplete. That ship is not titled. And the citizen is all capital letters. Thereby not making it a citizen, but a citizen which requires a title. <clears throat> now, notice you got some numbers and stuff over here, but there's a federal zip code, uh, zip code use, which complies with that right there, showing that it did receive here locally through the United States Post Office by the United States Postal Service. The United States Postal Service and United States Post Office are under the authority of the United or Universal Postal Union. And under their standards, there is no human readable code within the parameters around this barcode. Nowhere. So, both the Universal or the uh, United States Post Office and the United States Postal Service are complicit. They are complicit in their duties in passing ships without titles. And without proper standard procedures. So, if we understand this, people, this is the cargo. All this information here is inside that window. That's inside the ship. That is the cargo. There is no title to the ship. They're, they're, they show you that citizen in hopes that you'll go ahead and accept this as though that's you. Understand, people, you is a plural term. Ye is the singular of the plural you. Ye 
is the living man or woman, and if they accept, they now become you, and that's what all those, the usage of the word you is in these courts. Understand this, people. That's why I use on my documents, I, Keith, declare, or I, Keith, state, or I, Keith, period. If you're going to use the word you, make sure you know how, you, how it's being used. So anyway, we got two copies. We got one so I could scribble on for our own records that will then copy. And we've got another copy that we're going to keep clean. The one that we're, this one here that we've got notes on, we're going to copy that. We're going to include that in information that we're going to provide to the Federal Trade Commission. Federal Trade Commission for possible attempt at fraud because you'll notice this is uh, we did not accept it three times plus we sent a notice via return to sender and that's what that, that post is a while back with that return to sender envelope and you can see it's the same thing it's department 922 with a different uh, account number but anyway we're going we're gonna to report it to the Federal Trade Commission as an possible attempt at fraud we're going to give copies of evidence, including photos, explaining no proof sent upon initial return to center notice. We've required the uh, validation of debt collector uh, certification, um, a wet pen signature showing two valid uh, signatures showing a valid contract, as well as um, an IRS audit. Without any of that, they do not have a valid debt, and they're trying to collect saying that they have a valid debt. They're doing so through the United States Postal Service, the United States Post Office, and that is all under the jurisdiction of the UPU, which I believe is uh, the uh, um, authority in all contract law. So anyway, we've already discussed that the uh, UPO, or UPU um, has that authority many times, and I believe I'm correct there. So, we look at the UPU Convention of 1934, which was terminated in 1939, but I look at this because it says, Notice of adhesion shall be given through diplomatic channels. And then, it says, uh, and then you see it says Law of Principle, and that's where uh, notice to principle is notice to agent. Um, we're talking about UPU, which is under the UN, United Nations. So, under that uh, prin uh, Law of Principle, you're notifying all different nations. And so what we're doing is notice of adhesion shall be given through diplomatic channels to the government of the Swiss Confederation and by the latter to the governments of all other countries. Now what I want to what I want to question here is how to make ourselves a postmaster or where we're able to be the master of porting our own documents. How do we make ourselves that bank? through the international, is it, is it a note of exchange? And this is what I mean. If we take this, the fourth time we've been attempted to receive or, or uh, to collect a debt, if we take this and mail it to ourselves, certified return receipt, and then include that in the evidence along with that receipt, To the uh, Federal Trade Commission, along with all this other stuff, doesn't that make us the bank? Doesn't make that? Doesn't that make us the one porting this instrument? Doesn't that make us the one that now accepted their their uh, inst or their document, and we are the ones that made it instrument by not opening it or anything, but by by mailing it to ourselves through the UPU with verified paid postage done properly through the UPU standards. Understand this, people. I believe that's how we do it. And if you look them up, the UPU has a contact at Universal Postal Union, West Post Strauss 4, 
P.O. Box 312 3000 Bern 15 Switzerland and then you can Google uh, Universal, Universal Postal Union Home and I believe they also have your their fax number and email and, and other things but that is the mailing address if you want to contact them through snail mail snail mail but that's how you use your bank I don't know that you can use your bank through text, uh, emails, or anything like that. So, anyway, I'm posing a question. Like I said, th th they have three prior attempts. This is the fourth. Um, if we send this correspondence to self via verified or via certified return receipt, and notice the UPU of adhesion via notices. So, uh, through the Secretary of State and U.S. Department of State for verification, again, through law of principle. We're talking about uh, international laws here. And is not the UPU, in fact, um, authority in all contract law? Isn't that done through the UPU, uh, the UN? Isn't that uh, their, their uh, uh, mother corporation or whatever you want to call it? Anyway... I'm posing, again, one more time, this is my question. I believe this to be true in, in, as a matter of process. If we take this fourth attempt and mail it to ourselves via certified return, help would be greatly appreciated. Doing the best I can to help everybody, not just Joyce here. Um, it's a matter of process, and I think it's, uh, the process is uh, a main part of that is going through the correct channels. So anyway, hope everybody understands. If there's anybody out there that can help, that's that's my intended route is, uh, again, send this to ourselves, certified return receipt, um, getting a hold of the Federal Trade Commission as per attempt to uh, uh, fraud and uh, show them all the uh, evidence we have in regards to trying to take care of our end of things and show that we need proof of... Uh, Again, uh, debt collector certification, um, IRS audit, and a contract with two wet ink signatures proving meeting of minds and consent. So, again, that's all I got for now. God bless. Love y'all. Have a great night.